All right, this is a fun lesson. Once you learn this, you're going to be like, wow, that is so easy. Why didn't we learn to do this at the beginning? Why did, why did we have to do all that completing the square? Well, completing the square kind of shows the steps of how we get to the answer. And we are going to use that in uh, solving some problems later in Algebra 2 and Advanced Math. So we need to know that technique. But the quadratic equation is a shortcut for getting your two values for x when you have a qu quadratic means you have an x squared term right so the formula and the pace on page 10 shows how they derive this formula using an equation that's in this form a x squared plus bx plus c equals zero so if you start with this as your quadratic equation and then you solve it just keeping all variables all right it's a little bit uh, um, uh, anyways it's a little bit confusing but I think if you follow it it'll it might make sense but we end up with a formula which is negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4 AC all over 2a so Mr. Ranger, how did you know that well we just memorize it okay and I would encourage you to say it with me a few times here here we go negative B okay and the B is whatever the value is of the X term plus or minus the square root of the B squared minus 4 just the number 4 times the letter A whatever the value of A is times C that whole thing is under the radical so you solve that and then all over 2 times the value of a. Now we're going to show you in a minute how we uh, can plug into that. But look at this formula. Take a mental picture of it. All right. And let's see if we erase a couple of these. Can you still remember? If I erase that. And I'm going to erase that. And that. Okay. So say it with me. Here we go. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Let's do just a little bit more. What if I erase the a and the c? All right, say it with me. Say it out loud. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 a. All right, I'll just plug it back in here so you can see it so that we can solve using it. Here we go. Now in this equation, we need to first bring this over so that it's in this form. 3x squared plus 6x minus 4 equals 0. All right, so we brought this over, made it positive, but now we have it in descending order. That means that a is positive 3, b is the number 6, and c is negative 4. Now let's take our template here, our formula, and we're going to plug in. So negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 4. All over 2 times a. All right. Now, let's see here. What is 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 4 is 48. Now, notice that's a negative, and then this is 36 minus that. Huh, what does that give us? <clears throat> 14, carry the 1, 84. Okay. So, negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 84 all over 6. And now we have to break down 84 because we don't know what the square root of 84 is. Um, this is how I do it. So I get 42, break it down, I get 21, 3, 7. <clears throat> Let me just make sure I'm not leading you astray. I think that looks right. Okay. So that means a 2 is going to pop out but the 21 will stay underneath. So I have negative six plus or minus the two pops out. Square root of 21 all over six. 
And now, um, in fact, we might just write it like this, okay? As two separate things. So now we can simplify that negative one plus or minus, and then that cancels against that. Square root of 21 over three. <clears throat> you might have a slightly different form for the answer when you get to the square key. Maybe they leave this as negative, uh, negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 21 all over 3. That would be the same thing. Okay. But the point is we need to memorize this formula. That's the quadratic equation. Rearrange the equation they give you so that it's in this format. This is called standard format. And then we can just look at it and we can grab the A, the B, and the C values. Plug it into the equation, simplify it, and you literally have two answers because this is one, negative one plus the square root of 21 over three and negative one minus the square root of 21 over three. So we have two answers, okay? So on all the rest of the problems on this page, um, you should, they only give you seven problems, okay? Hopefully you won't have any uh, difficulty doing those. And they're all basically the same. All right, do well.